stage. I'm going to add him to the screen now. Welcome, Gaurav from Pac-Man Packaging India. Hi, Gaurav. How are Hello. you? Hello. Hi, Megla. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Kevin. How are you doing all? Hello, Gaurav. Well. How are you? Good to see you Good. again. <laughs> We're Lo lovely, lovely evening to all of you. It's already late in Australia, I guess. Yeah, it's just a little late. Okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's okay. Not too bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes, so please. Gaurav, um, we've got your presentation, your company profile. We're going to share the screen. Mm -hmm. And uh, why don't you start talking about uh, you know, yourself first. Give a little bit of introduction and tell us about yourself, your own experience and how you started uh, Pac-Man. Okay, so um, I own this company, Pac-Man Packaging, and I, this is in the heart of India. This is in Delhi NCR. And I started this company back in 2002. So it, it's almost 20 years now. And uh, with this process, packaging has become my uh, passion as well, because packaging is something which is required in each and every field. The the coffee mug which I, I, I see here, or maybe the, the mouse, the laptop I'm working on, everything comes packed in a packaging. So while I was growing up, I knew that packaging is something which would always be in high demand and uh, apparently it's working for me as well. So that's how I started my journey back in 2002. And as you can see, these are some of the products on the screen, uh, like uh, you can see bread packaging, uh, which are everyday products when you take bread at your home. And then there are some courier bags and the other stuff. So these kind of stuff we are manufacturing. This is all in-house production. And after that, you also see uh, some machineries uh, that can give an idea about the kind of machineries we are having. And this, this, these are all uh, very high quality machines in which um, the all, all kind of packaging based, paper based packaging and plastic based packaging can easily be manu manufactured. Uh, without uh, worrying about the quantity as well. So to the next slide, if we go, yes, Th this is one bubble extraction machine. This is very technical machine to create bubbles when we make any kind of courier bags. Then there are some bubbles made inside the bag for that this machine is being used. Then this is a printing machine. Uh, this is an eight color printing machine. So very high quality printing can be done. Any kind of artwork can be printed on these kind of machines. So it prints 500 meters per minute. Wow. <laughs> <That's> like... Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, so the quantity is never a problem. Whenever we have a bulk client uh, which needs a very high, a high quantity, maybe in turns, then it can be done overnight. But what about small quantities then? Are you okay to do small quantities as well? Yes, for small quantities, we have different machines. And uh, for that, uh, we can make as less as 500 pieces as well. I mean, I have special respect for startups. And when it comes for startups, I always recommend that they do not need to invest a lot of money in packaging. They should be investing only uh, only what they need because they ha they do not know how it's going to work and maybe they, they they may make some changes in the future in the artwork in the logo so i would always suggest to start with a very small quantity say 500 pieces only and if they do not want their branding then even 100 pieces works in my company so i always uh, try to promote the startups That's great. excellent yeah most of the or many of the people who are in our group they are actually entrepreneurs and start startups so so you know when i started back in 2002 i started getting requirements of small quantities and i started seeing that people who are starting a business they have no idea where to go for smaller quantity so they were trying uh, platforms like Alibaba, India Mart, and then they were connected to some uh, vendors who, are, who were manufacturing and they were not getting proper response because the first question being asked to them was, what is the quantity? And the moment they were telling the quantity, uh, the, the vendor or the manufacturer was just not interested. 
so it was very disappointing and there i found the opportunity i i thought you know that this space should be filled that when somebody is starting a business they do not know any they have no idea about way to get the packaging from how to how to simplify this so you know my my vision is only one make packaging better and simpler so that's how i see things I think you are a dream packaging company for our community. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fantastic. Because yeah, many of them I want would, to start I, with I, small. I, I would, I would, I would give you an example. Uh, yesterday, there was a walk-in client. She walked in and was talking to my salesperson, and somehow I was just crossing by, and my salesperson told her that the minimum order quantity of that uh, particular box is five three thousand, and she agreed. She said, "Okay, I would take three thousand." Then I asked her, "What kind of business are you in?" she was just 20 years old she was a kid and she was just starting an apparel brand i said you do not need 3000 as of now because you don't even know what kind of uh, quantity you would be selling in the future do you have any idea about that she said no i have absolutely no idea so i changed her quantity from 3000 to 500 and she was happy about it and she will realize this after 6 months because today she does not have any idea what kind of quantity she would be selling but since i suggested her that 3000 would be very high quantity for her so now after after down the line 5 to 6 months she would be knowing yes it was a very wise decision to go for a lower quantity mm. Mm. exactly yeah so let's talk about bag making so what kind of yes. bags do you produce as well okay so these bags are um, this is the basic of any kind of e-commerce packaging whenever you have to sell anything uh, using an e-commerce platform then the number one requirement is that the thing that you are selling see the 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 product is getting transported using a logistic company like fedex now 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 this transit has to go through many hands so we have to assure that the product reaches safely to the customer so for that we make these okay so for that we make these bags these are tamper proof bags these are uh, security bags so once you put any uh, material in this and you stick the bag it cannot be opened on the way it can only be teared so things cannot be stolen things cannot be misplaced the product will be reaching the customer as it was packed i will give you i will give them them back in and put them back out so That's i will give you an example this, this is a bag so you can see a, a brand name is printed along with the website this this is a store name and then uh, this is the back side this is a small pocket wherein they can keep the invoice now this pocket is very important because uh, this this invoice is used by the transit company by the courier company and can uh, can be checked anywhere and here you see this says hot melt now this is a very strong adhesive when when we remove this adhesive when we remove this strip there is a strong adhesive and we just seal it now the bag is sealed it cannot be opened it can only be teared now on the way if a courier guy or any bad element if they if they try to open something or want to seal something they cannot do this because the packet can only be teared you know so this this, this makes it a very good quality security bag it is very cheap and it can be given for as less as 100 quantity and this is this is called courier bag so this is the basic of a e-commerce packaging and this is very important aspect of an e-commerce packaging and these bags we make in white color pink color green color black color and various colors because people get get bored with white uh, bags you know these are the white bags when you usually order from amazon and flipkart these are the white bags So to add some colors, we 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 have developed various colors like the green, blue, black looks premium. We can have a very nice golden printing on this. So this is how it works. 
also we can do this kind of uh, printing on the bag this is multi color printing gives a very nice logo printing mm -hmm. yeah no, that'd be great for a lot of a lot of amazon products for those i think it'd be great so yeah. so courier bags are very important even if you have to sell a pen or maybe a laptop it goes in the courier security bag this is the first oh. step towards any kind of e-commerce packaging so Rajan, what is could, the moq could, of uh, these bags the moq of this bag is only 100 if you want if anybody wants uh, non printed bags like uh, without any printing it would be fine but if they want their own brand, it would be just 500. For, for even 500 quantity, we can print uh, their brand and anything. Okay, and that would probably be single color, right? The printing or? Th that, that, will be single, that will be single color. Now, yesterday, an African guy, he just walked into our factory he, by Google Maps. He thought that this is a shop. He, he, he thought it's a shop. So he said, okay, I was just looking for 15 bags. Can I get them? We complimentary gave, we, we, we complimentary gave, gave him 15 bags. We could not charge for 15 bags because he, he made, because he made special efforts to reach Pac-Man. He thought that, that he would be getting some, you know, 15, 10 or 15 bags for his personal purpose. Maybe he wanted to send something to his home country or somewhere. So we did not feel like charging for such a small quantity. So anything can work if it comes to personal level, you know. Right. So, Mark, so this is Dora, a for just you. a quick question: Could you on the yes. bags? Could you put a barcode on the on the back of the that you could, couldn't you? you yes. Could yes. 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 Yeah. 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 We can put scannable. the barcode. Yeah. It is scannable. Yes. We can put the barcode, and that is scannable. That's a very good question. In fact, for some companies, uh, when the quantity can, may reach 5,000, we can also print sequential barcode. In that case, what happens on, on the first bag, it will be 0001. On the other bag, it will be 0002, 003. Whatever number you gave, it will be sequential barcode. So every bag will be having a unique barcode. So if somebody wants to track a specific packet and if they have a, a software system, then they can, you know, they they know that, that the packet number 14 has been sent to San, Fran San Francisco. So that unique barcode can be used to track a unique package. That can be done, yes. Yeah, that'd be good for FBM. If you're doing FBM, you could track the packages a lot easier. Yes, yeah. for sure, for yeah. sure. So Lois is asking, can we use them for Amazon? But I thought they had to be clear. I'm not too sure. Okay. To yeah. So that's a very good question. Yes, these can be used in Amazon, but Amazon wants their own branding. So there are two options. Either you use plain bags with Amazon tape. Now, I no, now in on it. on this tape decathlon is written in the same way we also make amazon tape so you just need to use plain bags and put the amazon tape and amazon will pick it because since they have their own branding so they will be fine with that else you have to buy amazon bags which are specially made for amazon and uh, those can be bought from amazon website amazon.com or whatever website is in your country and you can easily buy those bags as well. Yeah, that'd be for doing delivery. But um, we, because we're private labeling, we have to package them to go into the Amazon warehouse. So Lois thinks that they have to be clear. So can you do those bags in clear as well as color as, as the, the color or not? Do they come in okay, clear? Okay, 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 okay. If in her country, uh, because uh, in many countries, but I have seen they do not want clear bags, but if in her country they need clear bags, yes, that can be done. But what I have seen so far is they do, uh, in courier bags, usually they do not prefer clear bags because if the stuff is visible from outside, that tends to get stolen. So I'm not very sure if it is a fact that Amazon wants clear bags. So I would request her to double check with Amazon that if they really want the clear bags, because usually in e-commerce, clear bags are not preferred. But if that is the uh, priority or if that is the protocol, then yes, that can be done. Yeah, okay. th those bags are more for the courier service. 
what we are needing is a bag before that step that it just protects the product and and it gets sent out in like instead of going out in in a in a private label box it would go out in a bag where you might put a band around the product and then put it in a clear bag but the, i like the sealable thing on the top the reason is when people send them back to amazon they can put them back into stock if it's got that sealable top they could never put your product back in and resell it so that would be a great sort of benefit to a lot of our people because yeah. you don't have them you know, at the moment, like ours get are in a cardboard box. So if it comes back, they'll just go, yeah, that's fine. Put it back on the shelf and send it out and you get a complaint because it's been used or something. So I think that's a great idea um, to mm. look for people to look at, depending what you're selling, yeah. of course. But if you're selling, yes, you know, yes. like cushion covers or yes. tablecloths or something like that, whether you put it in a clear one with like a, a your brand inside or you could use a pretty coloured one. I don't know. I would have to look into that. I'll, I'll have a look at it's that. It's a good side. solution, though. I haven't read That's it. a really yeah, good solution. I think it's a great solution, solution that, that yeah, it is ceiling a good part. Solution. But, yeah. yeah, it wouldn't be um, needing the pouch either because the invoice wouldn't go in that pouch because Amazon then package that Put in FBA. their box to deliver it again. So when they're delivering it, they use their own packaging. So we're doing a pre-packaging, if that makes sense, before that step. Yeah. Okay, so we have a couple of questions. Mana is asking, do you mm. make biodegradable bags, say compostable mailer or sustainable packaging? Yes, uh, since three years, I'm seeing this trend that uh, uh, safe packaging is very important. And since three years, we are manufacturing biodegradable bags and compostable bags as well. Now, these bags have a shelf life. Uh, around nine to ten months. So after nine to ten months, these uh, bags tend to uh, get dissolved in planet Earth. Like if they are thrown somewhere, it will be dissolved on the road. If they are thrown in the water, they will be dissolved. So it's very good. It's a very responsible packaging and it's very good for environment as well. However, uh, being said that uh, biodegradable bags are a little thinner. They are not as thick as the normal plastic bags and also uh, they have a shelf life so sometimes people may not prefer using them because after nine or ten months the, the stock which is kept in the uh, uh, warehouse that may not be usable and also uh, biodegradable bags are 25 to 30 percent higher in the prices so considering all these things these are the only uh, uh, minus points. Otherwise, if, if you care about the environment, then definitely biodegradable bags and compostable bags, they are highly recommended to use. And yes, we do make them. Right. So Annie is asking what sizes are available. And this is for the bags that you were showing previously. Um, and any, uh, any, we, any, we have all the sizes available. The smallest size is the envelope size in which you you keep the invoice that is four by six this 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 size after that six by seven inches eight by ten inches ten by twelve inches twelve by fourteen inches fourteen by eighteen inches so after every two inches we have a size so there is no possibility that we do not have the size that you are looking for because it's after for in the gap of every two inches we are making the bag also, these bags are available on the website, pacman.co.in, or you can just email, and every, all the information is given. So there is all the sizes are available as per your requirement. Right. So your website is very comprehensive, actually, pacman.co.in. Mm. Pacman and so can mm -hmm. people also do customized packaging on the website, or is it just to buy you know, ready-made products? If you uh, go on a on the website, there is a back calculator as well, in which you give a specific size that this is a size I need, this is a quantity I need, and immediately it gives the price, and you add to cart, and it's done. If if you do not have to go through the products, you can go to the back calculator and just uh, just put your size, and it's done. In the same way for the box, there's a box calculator. You you put the length, width, and height, the size that you need and the quantity and it's done you get the price and you just check out so that's very easier also there's a chat system if you are still unsure what you're looking for uh, whenever you log in there is a, a, a support team which, those are not bots those are the real human beings who are helping you out to understand what you need yeah i think a lot of our people would need help because 
Um, I know you've got standard boxes, but to us, if you're packing something for Amazon, the cost of the shipping, the storage, and all the, the transporting that gets done, if that box is an inch bigger than it should be, so what a lot of people would probably want to do with you is send their product to you and get you to say, right, this is the perfect size box. So it might be, you know, 17 inches, not 18 and 11 inches because we want it really compact so it doesn't move around in the box and we want it as tight a fitting as we can because if you're sending 2,000 products and you've got an extra two inches in every box that you don't need, you're shipping air, you're paying transport, you're paying storage. And I mean, Amazon charge $2.40 a cubic foot storage. So if you've got a few inches too much on every box, you're up for a lot of storage every month. So it's just... I think most of our people would probably prefer to come into you as a, can you make me this particular box and this is what it's got to, so, and they won't know what core flute they want, whether they want a three or a five, and it's got to pass a drop test. So I think most of our people probably wouldn't do the do it yourself because it might not fit perfectly. And I mean, there's nothing worse than getting something that's not the, the right size for what you need. And it might need some other um, bended cardboard in it to hold the product in place because of the journey it takes, because it's not only getting packed in a carton from India to uh, America, then it lands at an Amazon warehouse, it comes out of the carton and each box might get individually sent all over America before it then gets sent to the customer. So it's got a lot of more traveling than just a box that's being sent to some retail outlet or to a customer. So it's, it's you know, spending a few months going around the world sort of thing. So um, I think a lot of people will probably come to you for specific packaging and private labeling as well, because they'll want to do their own private and barcoding and things like that. So, but, you know, some people might find it works well if they're just doing, I don't know, a simple envelope thing or something. But once again, you don't want it too big either because you can be oversized if the box isn't made the perfect size because 18 inches is a maximum length in Amazon, 18 by 14 by 8. So if they go over that, it costs them about $4 more a product just because of over an inch on the outer side. So I think a lot of it will be a bit more personalised that they will they will want you to, you know, help them with it. And, and you still pay <laughs> yeah. for fresh air. And you still pay for fresh air, don't you, Mark? Yeah, you do, certainly. <laughs> So, so, so a lot of people are sending us the products. You know, they're not very sure about what kind of packaging they need yeah, because they're not they're not an ex yeah they're not an expert. So we 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 get so many samples from America from European countries. They they just send the sample. They don't know how to package them. So we have a dedicated team for uh, sampling and for researching. So we give the best solution in terms of fitting the product and the size as well. So they do not have to worry about the um, packaging that because we are the experts. So they are in safe hands, so they should be getting the perfect solution. So nowadays, giving the solution is the most important thing. So when we have the product, we give the perfect solution. So that's our job. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Yes. Also, also, uh, uh, if you see in Amazon, there are like you rightly said, there are so many products, more than 100,000 products in Amazon listed. How is it possible to get the correct size for every product? Mm. So, uh, what is usually done is that uh, we, sh we we shortlist 50 to 60 sizes. In Amazon, we are supplying 55 sizes, mm -hmm. and in those 55 sizes, all the products are picked. In 55 sizes, it's a small box, then a big, bigger, then bigger, 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 height different, uh, uh, height bigger, smaller, smaller, smaller. In the same way, we have a shortlisted 55 sizes of boxes, and uh, most of the product gets fitted in those boxes. Now, it is definitely not possible that, that those would be 100% fitted, so we use fillers for that. If there's a little bigger boxes, we, we, we fit the product, and... Uh, when there is a gap, we use the uh, vacuum fillers around it so that the product is also safe and the product is not moving in the transit. I think mm. what you are referring to is the boxes that Amazon uses to ship the products mm. to customers. So mm. those are, you know, Amazon's boxes. But what we want is, you know, boxes for our products to go into Amazon. So I think there's a you know difference over there, but you are in the same way. Yeah, yeah, yes, to yes, Amazon. yes, yes, yes. Now, yeah. now in that case, you, that's a very good question. That's a very good question. Now, if we understand the concept, if a seller from their home 
if they are selling 50 products they do not need to make 50 kind of boxes they can come down to six or seven sizes so that they have to maintain less sizes in their inventory and they can mix and match all the products in the five or six sizes of boxes and they, then they can ship right so let's even the example. sellers yes yeah, yes. Let's take an example of a uh, you know, seller in our community. Uh -huh. They are looking for private uh -huh. label products. Let's say they want to source this bottle, you know, a copper bottle from Muradabad. They are sourcing this mm -hmm. and they have mm -hmm. no idea how to package it. So can they mm -hmm. send the bottle to you and then you can help them, you know, help uh, design the package and give them all the dye Megla, lines and all of that? M Megla, that is the perfect solution. If we talk about mm -hmm. the simplicity, as I said, let's yeah. make packaging better and simpler. If we do not go in detail, see somebody uh, selling that bottle should not be having knowledge about packaging because her job <laughs> is to sell the, yes, because her job is to sell the bottle. Yeah. So in that case, the best thing is uh, sending the bottle, rest, job is, rest of the job is ours. She do not need to learn the technicality of the packaging. That should be our job. So that is the best way. She, uh, she or uh, him uh, sends the sample of the bottle and then we do rest of the job. Okay. Yeah. And that's okay for you, even if it's a small order of, let's say, 500 uh, pieces, you know, of, of a box. That's okay as well, right? I mean, there that's might perfect. be some limitations. That's Th that's yeah. perfectly fine Migla, when uh, you know when business becomes a passion then there is no minimum there is no maximum you know you you like to do things yes you, you you like to do things with taste you don't just do it for money but you do it because you like it yes and the other thing that we haven't mentioned yet is that all these people who have been looking for tubes they make packaging tubes so megla's bottle could probably go in a tube yeah you make <laughs> tubes right lots of different everyone types keeps of wanting tubes they've been asking about tubes for months <laughs> yeah okay okay so louise is saying what is the thickness of your bags it needs to be at least zero point Zero 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 three centimeters for Amazon FBA. Yeah, there's... Okay, so Louis, uh, yes, Louis. Uh, uh, usually in technical language, uh, the bags are measured in microns. Now in microns, we are manufacturing sixty microns of bags. I would quick. I can quickly do a conversion that how much uh, sixty microns in centimeters. But I believe it. It's exactly what you are taking. We are talking about. It's 0 0.006. 0 0.006. So that solves uh, 60 microns. Uh, Louis. Mm -hmm. Yes, you said 0 0.003, but we are manufacturing 0 0.006. That means double the thickness. So that will definitely work for you. The other thing, Gaurav, is that, uh, you know, many people in our community have this complaint of packaging companies and uh, <laughs> that they're very slow to respond. And okay. <laughs> that's been a constant complaint in our community. So what sort of processes do you have in your company to ensure that um, customers can or prospective clients can be you know, responded to quickly? That's a very genuine complaint. Even I have seen that uh, people uh, work in packaging business in a very unorganized way. They go where they see the profit and, you know, that that's how they, it's working. I somehow uh, try to make it as organized as possible. So we have a dedicated team uh, in the chat support system, in the toll-free uh, customer care system. So we are trying our best to give the feedback and the reply as early as, as possible. I think right now the... Uh, lead time we are taking in making a reply is around six to seven hours. So within a day, they are getting the response. So we are trying to improve that as much as we can. And uh, uh, we have all kind of emails and uh, toll free numbers and the chat system. I don't think customer will face any problem. And last but not the least, WhatsApp. Now WhatsApp has turned out to be a very revolutionary communication system. Because you do not need to have a different platform to communicate because that is always there in everybody's phone. So anybody can just drop a requirement on WhatsApp and they will get the reply. That is the fastest and the instant communication mode. The WhatsApp numbers are uh, man mentioned on the website. That is the easiest way, I believe. Okay. Gaurav, just say, I said to you, right, I want 
you know, this box and we've agreed on that's the box I'm having. How long would it then take me to get those boxes manufactured? Okay. So if, okay. And, so yeah. if I, if we, if we receive the sample on day one, day on day three, uh, the, the, if we receive the product on day one, the sample of packaging of that product will be made on day three. On day four, we will be giving the pricing. Day five, the price is approved. Then in that way, we see on day, day 13, it will be dispatched. So usually we take seven days to manufacture a product. Okay, okay. that's good. I think a lot of people will be happy about that one. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Okay, Louis. <laughs> thanks a thanks a so much, Louis. <laughs> Spike Tadros is saying good point, Gaurav, about loving your business. All the best. <laughs> yeah. Your, your blessing, Tadros. Uh, your blessing. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, guys, do you have any more questions for Gaurav about packaging? Type your questions in the comments. You can also send uh, Pacman an inquiry from our website, indiasourcing.net forward slash Pacman. Uh, you can get more information about the company there, download their catalog, and also send them a direct email. Uh, but if you have any questions, type your questions in the chat box now, and we will start wrapping up in the meantime. Um, Mark, Kevin, do you have any more questions for Gaurav? No, I think look, we've we've seen we've seen the website just like yourself. Yeah, we've, we've spoken we, to. We've been so Gaurav, excited about it. We're amazed. It, yeah. We're amazed at the amount of different uh, packaging solutions that this company has. Um, you know, it'd just yeah. be great A lot for of people them, to. You know, yeah. I've got to be for Amazon, so I think it's mainly going yeah. to be, you know, the, the core flute boxing, yeah. um, the poly bag type situation, I would, the tubes, yes, I would, you know. I would like to tell things. everybody, uh, yes, I would like to tell everyone that in, our, in my country, we are the first vendor of Amazon since Amazon has started business in uh, our country. Uh, since 2011, we have been supplying to Amazon as well. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, all right. So thank you so much, Gaurav, for your time today. It was really nice learning about your company. And um, we are sure you're going to get a lot of <laughs> emails and questions be busy. from our community. Yeah. <laughs> um, you're most welcome. So, you're most welcome. <laughs> so, yeah, Jackie also says just fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks, Jackie. Thank yeah. Thank you for your time, uh, Gaurav. Yeah. It's lovely thank to you see you much. again. Same here, anytime, anytime. If, if it's okay. packaging, it's always me. It's always me available. Well, that's what we, that's you what are we the want. Pac -Man. That's what we want. I'm, pa I'm Pac Man. I'm Pac Man. Yeah, Pac -Man. <laughs> Superman, Spider Man, Pac Man. Pac -Man. <laughs> awesome. That's All right, awesome. Gaurav, you have a great day All right. ahead. Take you care. Too. Thank you, too. you, you very too. much. Thank bye, Margaret. Okay. Bye, Kevin. Bye, bye. Bye. Thank you bye. so much. See, bye. see you again soon. Bye. See you again. Yeah, bye bye. Bye.